Hello and welcome to my video covering my Open Qualifier Jungle Cup tournament in Dortmund and let's get started. So starting off with my first opponent I immediately saw that except Beedrill or Noctowl are weak against Venusaur so that's why I had to bro bring in my Venusaur. And also everything except Heracross or maybe Beedrill are weak against Vigoroth so I also included that in my team. And in case she brought in Beedrill or Noctowl to counter my Venusaur and uh, partially my Vigoroth, I brought in my Magnezone to counter that. And I lead with Magnezone, expecting her to start off with Beedrill. So I start off with Magnezone against Lantern, which was a bad matchup, but I still played it out. Uh, I fire off my first wide charge to see if she would shield and then I wanted to bail out into my Vigoroth which didn't register at first but now I switched and I even let that Thunderbolt go, let go through since I had the mindset of sacrificing my Vigoroth anyways expecting her to switch into Beedrill immediately but she just stayed in which was kinda strange so I do my first body slam, expecting her to shield, which she did. So now I get to my second body slam, which she doesn't shield. So now her second thunderbolt goes through and yeah, just let my Vigoroth faint and switch into my Venusaur to farm her so now I have uh, two shield advantage and now she switches into the Heracross which isn't much of a threat to Venusaur especially with two shields left. So I fire off a sludge bomb which he couldn't shield which nearly faints the Heracross and I shield the, the Megahorn here since I knew I already won with my Venusaur if I kept it alive. So now I faint it down with only my vine whips and in comes her knockdown. So I fire off a sludge bomb and immediately switch into my magnezone. Since, oh no, I fire off a second sludge bomb since I found that Heracross before I had so much energy left. So now I switch into magnezone to faint that knockdown down. Yeah, and that was game one. And for the second game, I brought in my Beedrill instead of my Vigoroth. Since she brought uh, Lantern and Heracross the last time and Beedrill kinda handles them better than Vigoroth. Other than that, I didn't make any changes and I led with Beedrill this time in game two. Expecting her to try countering my Magnezone lead from the first game. So Beedrill comes in and faces off a knockdown which was very bad for me. I played out by doing some poison fangs, uh, poison jabs I mean. She fires off a sky attack which I shield of course otherwise my Beedrill would have been down and now Funny enough, she switches into her Beedrill. I don't think that was the right choice since she was at a very huge advantage with her Noctowl, which probably cost her the game here. So her Beedrill does a charge move, which was Sludge Bomb, which isn't effective. Instead of Sludge Bomb, she should have done uh, Xazor in this case. So now I fire off a wild charge to get rid of this Beedrill or see if she would shield, which she did. So here comes another charge move from her, which I shield then, which ended up being every ace, which could, I could have tanked easily. So I don't know why I shielded that, but probably because my Magnezone, uh, I needed that to counter the knockdown in the back. So now she comes in with Raichu, which was very bad for me since the Brick Break, yeah, the Brick Break comes through and my Magnezone just faints. So 
So now I have only Beedrill and Mag Venusaur left. And I know she had knockdown in the back. And I had I needed something that could deal with the knockdown. So I switch into my Venusaur with no shields left on both sides and I tried to faint her down with just the wine whips to get another energy for two sludge bombs immediately after another to faint that knockdown down. So now she tried her best to faint my Venusaur down. So I'm still trying to <laughs> gather some energy. So now she switches into a knockdown which was probably a mistake from her since now I gathered uh, enough energy for two sludge bombs and instead of that she could have tried to faint my Venusaur down then I was forced to use up my energy to faint the Raichu since my Vine Whips wouldn't be enough to faint that Raichu. For my second opponent everything except Vespiqueen or Heracross Vigoroth couldn't handle and otherwise I had my Magnezone to counter Fortress, Vespiqueen, Noctowl and Graveler. And then for my Vigoroth counter, which I definitely needed, I brought in Beedrill instead of my Venusaur. Since Venusaur had very bad matchups against Vespiqueen and Fortress, and Beedrill kind of uh, could handle the Vespiqueen, but also wouldn't do well against Fortress as well. And I started off with my Vigoroth this game. So we start off with Vigoroth against the Vespiqueen, which was very bad for me. Vespiqueen is like the hardest counter to Vigoroth. It's not particularly in a hard counter, but it definitely counters Vigoroth. So since it's so bulky and uh, resists those counters. But now I switch into my Beedrill to soak his Exazor, which was good, but now I'm strapped into this matchup against Graveler and his rock throws are enough to faint my Beedrill. So I do my best and do as much damage as I can and bring him into the yellow. But now his Graveler has enough energy for a fast for a charge move so I definitely had to use the shield here. So I now switch into Vigoroth to counter down and power off some energy. So now in comes his Rock Blast, which I shield. And I also waited the switch clock uh, to have my switch ready since I was at a disadvantage. Now I immediately spam the Body Slam, expecting him to switch into Vespi Queen, which he did. So now my Vespi Queen shields the Body Slam. And now my switch is back up and I tried to switch in my Magnus Zone to soak the Ixazor. But he did farm for some energy before he switches into his Vigoroth. And yeah, at this point I already knew I lost this match since his Vigoroth just counters my Magnus Zone down and farms enough energy for my Vigoroth. So I Im nearly got to my white shot there, but I don't think even under tapping would have brought me to the white shot. So now he body slams the first time. I get off my body slam. But yeah, the HP difference and the energy difference was that huge that I have I had no way of winning here. Also, he had Best Queen with enough energy for one X scissor in the back, so yeah. And for game two, I brought in my Venusaur instead of my Vigoroth. So, to expect him to bring his Vigoroth again and his Alone Graveler, and Venusaur could handle both pretty well. And also, my Magnezone to counter his Vespi Queen and his. Uh, and his alone Graveler, expecting him to not switch out his lineup since he won. And I started off with my B drill, expect him, expecting him to start off with either Vigoroth or Vespi Queen again. And I end up facing a Fortress with my B drill, which was very bad. His Fortress even had Struggle Bug, which I don't know, wouldn't yet matter anyway, so. I think I made a mistake by switching now into Magnezo. I should have played that out. 
since now I lost my only answer to his fortress and his Vigroth farms my Magnezon again for uh, energy and now once again I don't get to my wild charge I wait out the uh, switch clock and switch in my Venusaur but it didn't really matter th anyways because both are really weak against the fortress I already lost at this point since my team constellation was bad or my rather my team of three and also the switch at the beginning kinda screwed me over so yeah I learned from that game so now yeah as expected he does a body slam which faints my Venusaur I mean it didn't really matter anyways whether I would shield my Beedrill or my Venusaur since yeah and now he reveals his alone Graveler in the back and yeah Beedrill had n no chance against all three of them with one shield remaining so yeah GG so facing my third opponent now um, what I saw is that he had only Lantern as his, his anti-flyer as his electric type so and also he had brought Venu, Venomoth and Fortress which made me think that he wanted to scare off the Vigoroth counters uh, and the Venus especially so I thought to myself I needed to include my Venusaur to counter uh, the Lantern and the Vigoroth and obviously the Victory Bell and for everything my Venusaur couldn't defeat I brought in my Magnezone as my anti-flyer or anti-bug anti and also a knockdown since it did pretty well against his team overall and even could fight against the Vigoroth if I get to shield bait him. So yeah that's what my lineup and I started off with Venusaur that he wanted to scare off that much. So we start off with Venusaur against Vigoroth which was very good for me. So we played out. I mean if he didn't want to switch then why should I? I'm in a good matchup now. So he does his body slam. I tried to piggyback him but I think both got their respective fast move off so I don't know. That was neutral for us both. So now in comes the second body slam which I shield. And here I was able to piggyback him with one wine whip so I'm one wine whip ahead now and he should get off his third body slam before me but my Venusaur should be able to tank that so I'm now ready for my frenzy plant so he does his body slam I spam my frenzy plant as much as I could and I was even able to uh, piggyback him but it didn't really matter since my Venusaur is so low anyways but which is good since he can't farm me now with his knockdown now I switch in into my Magnezone to counter his knockdown and if he did doesn't switch I can farm him with for some energy for at least two wild charges and he can throw uh, anything at me Magnuson could tank that even two psychics so yeah so now I'm just farming it up and do my white charge before he gets off another charge move since I didn't want to be that greedy so his knockdown faints in comes his Venomoth and I just throw my flash cannon immediately and faint him with th that charge move and for the second game, since he didn't brought in his lantern in game one, I thought I would uh, lead with Lockdown and didn't don't change anything in my lineup. And let's see how that goes. 
So he leads off with the victory bell, which was very good for me. A very good matchup. I could practically just farm him, or theoretically, but he switches after some lag. So now he switches into Knockdown, which kind of surprises me. That just confirms that he didn't brought his Lantern. So I switch into my Magnezone to farm him, pretty much, which this is a very good matchup for me. So now I wanted to uh, charge up enough energy and while charge him before he gets off another charge move, which could have fainted my Magnezone down. So now one wild charge which he shields, which was surprising for me, but he probably wanted to uh, faint my Magnezone. So now I shield his next charge move, whether it's Sky Attack or Nightshade, it would have brought my Magnezone dangerously low, so I didn't want, want, didn't want to risk that. So I do my second wild charge which he shields again. So now I just shielding his next charge move. So I will be able to uh, just fast attack him down with my spark. So now he faints and I have enough energy for either a flash cannon or a wild charge. So now I think I'm just spamming flash cannon here. Yeah. And in comes this Vigoroth. And an unshielded Vigoroth. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. So now my Vigoroth Magnezone goes down after two counters from the Vigoroth. And I come in with my knockdown with the charged up uh, sky attack. Di since I didn't want him to body slam my Venusaur. So now I have even enough energy for my second sky attack. And that will finish his victory bell and I win this round. So for the fourth opponent I brought in my knockdown, lantern and my Venusaur. Um, I didn't want to bring my Magnezone since he, she had two counter users, Heracross and Vig, uh, Vigoroth. And also I didn't want to include my Beedrill because of that Fortress, uh, Graveler and the Noctaw. But looking back I should have brought in my Vigoroth and Magnezone at least. Uh, but yeah. Let's see how it goes. So we start off with Knockdown against Vigoroth, which theoretically should be really, pretty bad for me, for my Knockdown. Vigoroth should win this. So I shield that and my Sky Attack is ready. So I try to piggyback her and I even get to my Wing Attack off. So this was a successful piggyback for me. And now we fast attack each other and I'm here waiting for her to body slam me and she did which I shield again and I tried to go for another piggyback but this time I wasn't able to but it was still fine so I expected me expected to lose here with my knockdown against her Vigoroth so now I'm in the yellow before her so yeah she Body slam scene, but my knockdown is pretty bulky, so yeah, I get off my sky attack, which puts her dangerously low. And which surprises me is that we both go down. So now, since her Vigoroth is already down, I thought I bringing my Venusaur, since otherwise it wouldn't have any purpose. Otherwise, so in comes her Venusaur, which was pretty funny that we both choose Venusaur. So now, this was my mistake here. I should have gone for a piggyback since I knew she had CMP this game. So now, yeah, our sludge bombs both get through, but she will, in a neutral matchup, she will always get the, her frenzy plant before me. So which I, what I could have done is maybe under tap, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that could have been better, or could have be could have mattered there. So now, Lantern comes in, eats the frenzy plant, and the water gun damage isn't enough to faint her Venusaur, which was quite unfortunate. But I was able to faint 
to tie with the Vigoroth, which was pretty funny. So now in game 2 I replace my Lantern with my Magnezone to be to have a more favorable matchup against her Venusaur. Which I could have done is also replace my Noctowl with a Vigoroth, but I didn't do that. And I started off with my Magnezone. Um, expecting her to not lead with a Vigoroth again. And she starts off with Venusaur, facing my Magnezone. So interestingly enough, if she eats the Flash Cannon, she wins, uh, she loses the matchup. So I obviously shields the shield the Frenzy Plant, since those really hurt my Magnezone. And I go for a Flash Cannon instead of a Wild Charge, thinking she might not shield that, but she shields that. So yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. And I should have switched immediately since now I am at a losing uh, position. So now I go for another fla flash cannon, but obviously she will shield that. So she shields it and now I'm forced to switch. Not really forced, but I wanted to preserve my... Really wanted to preserve my Magnezone. So now my Noctowl uh, tanks the Frenzy Plant and in comes her Vigoroth, which wasn't too bad for me since it didn't counter my Vig Noctal that much and I even get off my Skytech, which maybe wasn't a mistake. I should have gone for a Psychic there since it would deal more damage. Yeah, definitely I should have gone for a Psychic there. So now I switch into my Vigoroth counter my Venusaur. So he does a body slam here and he, she probably gets to another body slam, yeah she does. Which was very unfortunate for me is now, yeah let's see, I read that out and we tie again. So now I lost a whole frenzy plant which could have fainted that Venusaur or even a sludge bomb. Uh, I had enough energy for both of, for both. So yeah, I get off my wild charge and defeat that Venusaur. In comes her fortress. Okay, maybe it didn't matter anyway. So even if my Venusaur survived that, her f fortress would have tanked the the frenzy plant or the sludge bomb. So yeah, GG's for her changing her lineup perfectly into my. So for my fifth and final opponent, I brought Venusaur, Noctowl and Magnezone. So no Vigoroth, since I didn't want it to be weak against fighting moves or rather the two counter users of him. So in case he brings in both, I wouldn't at least wouldn't be that weak against it. And I start off with my Venusaur, expecting him to start off with either Vigoroth or Heracross or the Graveler and we ended up doing a Venusaur mirror match so I thought about switching but I was pretty confident in the mirror match so I immediately throw my sludge bomb thinking he might think that this will be a, a, a shield bait so yeah he shields that perfect and I shield his sludge bomb so now we are pretty even and I have seen P so I felt really confident in this matchup. So that's why I stayed in in this. So I slow throw in my sludge bomb which he didn't shield which was very bad for him and I shield his sludge bomb. And now I'm in the position to faint him down with a frenzy plan and that's why he switches into his knockdown. And I immediately switch after him uh, into my Magnezone. And now, since yeah, he has only one shield left and is in this position, I can farm him up with my Magnezone. So again, I farm up to two wild charges pretty much. And now I throw one wild charge. And he shields it. So this was a pretty huge mistake since I had two wild charges. I get to finish him off and he loses all the energy. 
Hey, he should have. He probably should have let that first white charge go through. So now he is comes in with Vigoroth and feints my Magnazone pretty easily with the counters. And I switch in my Minosaur since it had enough energy and HP to finish off this Vigoroth. So now I barely get to my Frenzy Plant, but I get it off in time. Now I immediately switch into my Knockdown to not uh, to not let him farm any energy against my Venusaur, since the counter damage would have brought the Venusaur down already. So he switches into the Venusaur, I don't know, probably to soak the Sky Tech, but it wasn't even ready. And yeah, his Venusaur just was energy fodder for my knockdown now, and I get to my Sky Tech and finish him off. And in the second game, I didn't even change anything, just to confuse him. and. Maybe he goes for some risk and totally fails since he expects me to uh, change my line up. So now I come in with Venusaur against Vigoroth, which was pretty good. When I mean, we already played this matchup out in the lead in this tournament already, so we know how it goes. And he switches immediately without getting a, slash, uh, a charge move off. So both have. Uh, some energy charged up. So now his knockdown is trapped again uh, against my Magnezone. I don't shield his sidekick. I mean, why should I? So now I farm up to two wild charges again. I do one wild charge. And he does not shield this time. So now I have enough energy for one chi wild charge. And I immediately throw my wild charge off which was probably a mistake I should have looked at what he switches in but okay he sw shielded that anyways but I could have gone for the flash can anyways uh, or rather the flash can would have been better especially if he wouldn't shield so now I die uh, my Magnuson faints without getting his wild charge off which was pretty bad for me or pretty bad from me. So now I farm up his alone graveler since I knew he was far off from his rock blast but he shields and gets off his rock blast which I shield since I had energy charged up in the bank. So now I go for my second frenzy plant and without shields his alone graveler faints and I tried to switch in my knockdown but he immediately throws a body slam which I obviously tank since I wanted to switch in my knockdown anyways and yeah this way he uh, loses a whole body slam against my uh, knockdown which was pretty good for me so he does his third body slam now but the energy and the HP difference from the Noctowl and the Vigoroth is too huge. And since both have their shields down, Noctowl, my Noctowl wins this easily. Or not easily, but it wins. And I still had my Venusaur in the back. And with that, I had a score of 3 2 in this tournament, which was pretty mediocre. I wish I would have done better but yeah that's how things go sometimes